Um, hi, my name is Cynthia Calloway, and I'm a senior at Waverly High School. And you are saying? And this is Deceived. I trusted you. You told me you weren't going to hurt me, and I believed you. We would spend nights talking about our future, how we'll always be there for each other, our hopes of one day living together, about how much we both love to eat and dance to loud music. We spoke about how we hate people who aren't truthful about themselves, and I told you how much I hate hypocrites. But it seems like you know how they work all too well. I told you how my best friends mean the world to me, my darkest thoughts, the things that keep me up at night. You told me what I thought were secrets of yours. I did things for you, with you, things you don't do with just anyone. For some reason, I thought what we had was special, maybe because at first it really was. I hate this. I wish I didn't see you every time I close my eyes. I lay in bed at night, and I feel your arms wrap around me. And at first, those arms were my safe place. But now, I feel like an animal locked in a cage. Almost every night, I pull at my skin, dragging my nails up and down my sides, trying to get rid of that feeling of you. When I'm out late at night, I think to myself, we used to do this. Driving around, listening to loud music, you would hold my hand and tell me how great life is. You'd park the car, and we'd stare at the stars, making plans that never came to be. And when you dropped me off, you'd call me as soon as I got to my room. I wrote about you about spending the rest of my life with you. The thought of it made me happy, something I rarely feel these days. When you left for a college six hours away, part of me died inside. I wasn't able to lay next to you anymore. But I still told you everything. All the laughs I had at work, rough nights with my family. You told me all the great things about college and how much I love it. We still Skyped every night. Sometimes I'd watch you work on your music. I bragged about you to all my friends and coworkers, and you told me that you did the same. How I'm a princess and that no girl could ever be as amazing as me. You made me feel good enough for someone's love. But I should have known better. I should have known that nothing good lasts forever. New Year's came around, and at 2 in the morning, you call me on Skype. There was a girl with you, and I could see how drunk you both were. You told me how she's prettier and she puts out. All I did for the next four hours was cry. The next evening, you told me you meant every word, told me to grow up and stop acting like a child. This is why your mother hates you. Now, I wish I could forget you, but I can't. Yeah!